Getting set up here. Happy Monday. How is everyone doing? Got to get all my stuff the right size so I can see all of your comments and chat with all of you. Welcome to my Make It Monday Live. I'm super, super excited to stamp with you guys tonight. I have some gorgeous projects that I know you are absolutely going to love. I cannot wait for you to see them. Hi, Bernetta. Hi, Melanie. Thanks for joining. I'm so glad you ladies could make it. Hi, Kay. Welcome. <clears throat> oh, man. I tell you what. Um, I spent so much time in this stamp room, this stamp room this weekend, and I had a blast. It is colder than cold out there. Oh, my goodness. Hi, Vicki. Um, and we all know that when the weather is like that, there is no better thing to do than stamp, right? Hi, Jody. Um, it was, I think, on Saturday morning. Uh, it might have been Sunday morning. Might have been Saturday. Now I can't remember. When we woke up, the temperature before the wind chill, and if there are other fellow Wisconsinites here. Hi, Robin. I see she is a fellow Wisconsinite in Holcomb. Oh my gosh, before the wind chill, they were saying it was negative 15 somewhere and negative six um, in a town close by here. So it was cold. And you know what? I got to tell you, when I walk outside in that cold weather, I'm probably crazy, but I love how fresh and clean and crisp that air is coming into my lungs. Oh my goodness. I love to just take a big old deep breath in when it is that cold out. It feels so great. <clears throat> Hi, Denise. Welcome. <clears throat> um, Robin, I have no idea what kind of temperatures you had, but I know up over there, um, it gets to be pretty darn windy with all the hills and the bluffs and whatnot in western Wisconsin. So <clears throat> it was probably pretty darn cold there too. Hi, Sharon. Um, I went to college in Eau Claire and um, the bridge on campus made some top 10 list in like David Letterman's late night show or something like that. It's cold over there. So, all right. Welcome to my Make It Monday Facebook Live. I see a few of you commenting shared. Thank you so much for sharing my video. I love it when you share my video. It totally makes my heart happy. One thing I am super, super passionate about is helping people find creativity in their lives and helping to inspire their creativity. And I am super passionate about stamping. And so um, you can think of me like your creative coach. And when you share my video, you help others find creativity and you help me. You help support my small business. I so, so appreciate that. So if you wouldn't mind just taking a minute and hitting that share button, it should be at the bottom of your comments there if you're on your phone. Um, if you're watching on a computer, it's probably right below my picture, but I love it if you take a minute, hit that share button, put it on your wall. That is so appreciated. For those of you who are new to my page, I am Rose Grunewald. I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! which is a fancy way of saying I teach you how to use all the fantastic goodies that Stampin' Up! has to offer. And I'm stamping with you tonight here live in my stamping studio in New Holstein, Wisconsin. Uh, my husband and two dogs and two cats live out here and we sure have a fun time together in the country and we love it. And I see Denise is teasing me because it is 66 degrees in Texas well, we are uh, below zero here, so that makes me feel even colder. I am very jealous, Denise. Tonight, I've got three projects. I wanted to squeeze in four, but it's not going to happen because one of them, one card is so stunning, so amazing. You aren't going to believe that you're going to be able to make this card too. 
So you're going to want to stick around for that one. I'm saving it for the end because it's a little bit more intricate than our other ones. But I promise every project I make tonight, you can duplicate at home. I'm so excited. So I see more people sharing. Thank you so much. Um, as you pop on, make sure to say hello. Tell me where you're watching from. One of my very favorite things to do at the end of my live is go through all of your comments. And I love to read where everyone is watching from. If you're watching the replay, just hit replay, and that's fun too. I read every single one of your comments, and there are some ladies here who know that even when they catch the replay, I am going through and I am chatting with them and answering your questions and making sure that you are enjoying the inspiration. So if you are catching this on my YouTube channel, I appreciate if you take a minute and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you can have all of my videos in one handy dandy place. You can get at them, no problem. We got some more people jumping on here. Hi, Marsha. Oh, Melanie's got 71 degrees. Oh my goodness, I'm super jealous. We are planning a vacation to Florida in March and um, we're super excited for that. So we're gonna have a blast enjoying the sun and the sand and the water. John asked me if I wanted to do something, I can't remember, and I said, what do you mean? Do anything other than swim on the beach? Are you crazy? I'm gonna be in the water all day. I love swimming, so. Okay, I think we should get started. What do you think? We have prizes. You know I love to kick off the event with prizes. <clears throat> Do you remember last week we made these really, really pretty cards? We made this one using the Forever and Always bundle and that like Love You Always really pretty foil paper. And we made this gorgeous. Actually, we made one with different paper, but this is exactly the same layout. This really pretty black and white card with a pop of Blushing Bride there. And I gave you some inspiration for coloring on this beautiful designer series paper. This is the True Love designer series paper. And we used our Stampin' Blends, our alcohol markers and crumb cake to color in this negative space instead of coloring the flowers. And it sure made our project pop, right? <laughs> Thank you, Melanie. Hi, Robin, welcome. Um, so we made these because I've got um, a class going on right now. You have a little less than a week, well, just about a week um, to sign up for it forever and always bundle. You get a half a pack of the designer series paper in that class. You get, oh my gosh, my chair is stuck. Ah, okay. You get a pack of the um, snail mail twine. You get a pack of the opal rounds. These are super gorgeous. Can you see how they're like shimmery and pretty? I love them. And you get a blending brush. So you get to try out our new blending brush. And then there's a couple options for you to add on the um, bundle if you would like. And that's going on now through the 16th. So hop on over to my blog, rosegrunewald.com, and check it out if that's something you're interested in. But anyway, okay, back to these beautiful cards. I'm giving these cards away for the likes and comments from my live last week. The more you chat with me, the more you send me love, the better your chances. So um, all three I'm giving away. And the winner of these is Sandy Zidoon. Sandy, I'm not sure how to say your last name. Z-D-U-N, Sandy Zadun. So congratulations, Sandy, you win these three cards. I don't have your address. So if you could send me your address in a private message or um, uh, an email, countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com, that would be great. Hi, Joanne, welcome. <laughs> okay. And I'm giving away three prizes tonight, guys. The next prize is for sharing my video. 
So it's a special thank you for sharing um, the love. I so appreciate when you support my small business that way. And I have got a pack of the Pearl Basic Jewels here. These go with anything. And for those of you who have our alcohol markers, you can color these with your alcohol markers and they will match your project. In fact, I will show you. I did that on a card that I made and I colored these pearls in Blackberry Bliss. Sorry, that's a little bit blurry, but you get the point. You can see that they're colored in Blackberry Bliss. So they match any project. <clears throat> and this project, or this project, this prize is for sharing my video. The winner is Diana Knapp. So congratulations, Diana. I do not have your address either. So if you could shoot me an email at um, countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com or just send me a private message with your address. I'll get that out in the mail to you. The next prize is for my orders. So um, this is a new prize on the docket that I will be awarding each week um, for whoever placed an order um, from my last live until now using my host code um, or above 150. If you don't use the host code, I'll throw you in the drawing for that too. So for orders, I've got this beautiful card kit and I want you to be able to bling it up. So I'm also throwing in a roll of the fine art ribbon, a whole roll here, not opened, um, along with this card kit. And the winner of this is Katrina Jaworski. So congratulations, Katrina, you win this bundle. I will get that off in the mail to you. All right, are we ready for some stamping? I see some new people watching here. Hi, Carol. Hi, Sharon. Welcome. All right, I'm going to flip this around. And there we go. Turn on a few more lights. Do you notice I have a new desktop, you guys? Isn't it so pretty? Oh, I love it. I really wanted something lighter. I thought that the dark color was really hard to see what I was stamping. Um, so I was talking to my friend Jody about it and she had some extra um, planks for me to use. And so I've got a new desktop. I'm so excited for it. It feels so clean and fresh in my space. <clears throat> All right. Tonight we are going to use, you know what? I'm going to zoom in here because this feels really far away to me. I think that's a little bit better. We are going to use the Heal Your Heart bundle uh, stamp set. This is one of the freebies from Celebration. So here they've paired it with um, the Corner Bouquet stamp set from Celebration. Um, here they um, did it with that pretty, I can't remember the name of that paper, but it's super gorgeous with that paper. Um, this is free with a $50 purchase. And we're also using the floating and fluttering bundle. Now, I sent out an email to remind some of my friends on my newsletter that I was going live tonight. And I think I called this butterfly bouquet or something. I don't remember what I called it, but I totally got the name wrong. So I'm so sorry for that. It's the floating and fluttering um, bundle that we are using tonight. And I picked it to pair with this because I noticed as I was about to stamp with this pretty little thing that there are no sentiments in the stamp set. So it is absolutely perfect to pair together with this heal your heart that is full of sentiments. <clears throat> Now, when I make cards, I always, the first thing I do is open up my catalog and I say, what is Stampin' Up! doing with this stamp set? And I, this is on page 61 of the spring catalog. I see a lot of different colors and inspiration here. They're using the background stamp here. Can you see that? Um, it's a little dark. I need to get some more lights in here. 
that helps there we go um this background like stamp on there and some vellum and oh my gosh just looks beautiful i'm turning some more lights here to try and get a little bit more light on the matter i'm gonna have to add some more to my desktop i think so anyway let me get this stuff out of the way and let's get our first project going. We are going to be using some gorgeous Coastal Cabana tonight. Melanie says, beautiful desktop. I could use hints where to get a top like that. You know what, Melanie? This is all smoke and mirrors because if this is flooring. This is plank laminate flooring, three planks put right together and set on my desktop. It works beautifully. I absolutely love it. And it's got a little cushion for when I stamp. I just love it. All right, so. I need to double check my sizes here. Yep, here we go. This is my scrap sheet. Okay, we have got a card base and this is five and a half by eight and a half. And I think we all know the drill by now. I better move my water. I got my water here and I'm gonna spill it. So I'm moving that out of the way. Um, we know the drill, we're gonna fold it. And we're gonna burnish our edge with that bone folder. If you don't have a bone folder, it's worth its weight in gold because it makes nice, beautiful, crisp folded edges that help keep your card flat. It's amazing. All right. Um, and we are also using a, another piece of Coastal Cabana. This is four and a quarter by five. And then we've got a piece of our new basic white, and that's for the inside, four and a quarter by, sorry, four by five and a quarter. And I said this measurement wrong too, four by five and a quarter. So this will be for our inside. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do here is I am going to use my painted texture 3D embossing folder, and I'm going to emboss this Coastal Cabana layer, this is new in the spring catalog. And when it's done, it makes your paper look like the painted texture of um, walls that have a lot of like some of that texturing on there. I'm just grabbing my, okay, so I'm using my Big Boss for this. And if you're wondering how to put together your boss sandwich, it tells you right here. So for our 3D embossing folders and a little tip um, stampers, when I get my embossing folders, I label it with the name. And if it's a 3D embossing folder, I put 3D on there so I can always remember when I am creating so that I know how to make my, um, sandwich when I am embossing. So we're gonna use our plate. We're gonna put our embossing folder sandwich in here and then we'll use this gray plate on top of it. Now, when you roll this through the embossing, stamp and cut emboss machine, you wanna make sure that you're rolling it the direction of your seam. So let's bring this in. I love this thing because it is more compact than the last one I had and these sides fold down so it takes up less space and it is so smooth oh my gosh the, the handle on this thing as you crank it is so smooth it just goes through like butter seriously and then when you're done you just fold up the edges and set it aside i love that thing okay. <clears throat> I'm going to try to capture the texture of this layer on my camera. We'll see. We'll see if I can do that. Do you see that? How it looks like paint. Oh my gosh, both sides are just gorgeous. They're just opposite of each other, but 
Um, they look awesome. So, all right. Now, I also have a scrap of basic white here. And we're going to do some stamping now. So, let me get my floating and the fluttering. I'm gonna grab, this is what's really cool. All these butterflies are on one stamp here. Um, let's see here. Okay, I am using my E block to stamp this. I tried fitting it on my D and it just didn't quite fit. Okay, Memento ink. Um, since this is a little bit bigger block, I am inking the stamp instead of tap instead of tapping the stamp in the ink, I'm tapping the ink on the stamp. And I've got some smudging here, but we should be okay. Just gonna stamp this here. I don't wanna waste my paper and go right in the middle. Oops. Okay, well, let's try that again. That's why paper has two sides, right? There we go, we got a nice crisp image. Okay, and then we have this frame. And I'm gonna use that next. Um, I'm gonna put this on my eye block. When these are a little bit flimsy like that, I like to just kind of naturally let it fall and then I secure it. And I am looking for my, here we go, partial cabana. And I'm actually going to grab another scrap here. I don't want that other side of the stamp to come through, so. Yes, that embossing folder is amazing. I see Sharon and Robin and Kay all love it. It's probably one of my favorites ever um, from Stampin' Up. I absolutely love it. So gorgeous. And like every paper that I use it with is like prettier than the next. It's just absolutely stunning. All right, now we're going to emboss these. So let me get out my goodies for my sandwich again here. So I've got my plate, I've got my thin dye adapter, I think this is called, and then I've got my cutting plates here. And I need to find, I'm just going to grab a couple post-its right now for the time being. Just turn these off. Okay, now. 
Out of our dies, we're going to use the butterflies and the border. So I'm going to line these up. These line up pretty darn nicely. Like you don't really have to worry about too much white space with these new dies that coordinate with the stamps. They're like right to the edge. And I like that because then I'm not trying to even out the white space when I die cut. And for this one. Going in here. Did all of you have a good weekend? Did you do anything fun and exciting? I'm guessing those in Wisconsin probably probably hung out at home like I did, but maybe you were brave and got out there. <clears throat> all right. Let's bring in our unboxing machine. We had my nephew's birthday party on Saturday. He turned four, so we stopped over there for a little bit. And socially distanced, but we um, were able to celebrate, so that was nice. Okay. pieces here. I always put all my stuff away like <laughs> right away because I really do not like having a messy space. <laughs> Does anyone else like that? Do you put your stuff away right away or does your craft table look like a tornado when you're done? I mean I'm not saying mine never looks like a tornado. It does, don't get me wrong. But I usually put the stuff away, <laughs> right away. It's a thing I have. <clears throat> okay. Now we're gonna do a little more stamping here. And the cool thing about these butterflies is that these are two-step stamps. So let me... I think I need this, so I'm gonna leave this one mounted, but. All right, so you notice on here, we've got some detailed stamps and then we've got some solid ones. Well, these are two step stamps that we can use um, different colors. So I'm gonna grab the big butterfly wings. And, whoops. Well, that was on here. Find my blushing bride. I was having a ton of fun playing around this weekend with all the different um, color combinations I could do, use for this two-step stamping. And of course, this is a, a photopolymer set, so I can see right through to where I want to go. And you can see how that is like perfectly in the lines. All right, and now I'm gonna grab the little detailed parts of the butterfly wing right here, the big one. And for this one, I'm going to stamp it in a flirty flamingo. I really love the Blushing Bride with the flirty flamingo. This one was maybe my favorite color combination of them all. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I just think it is so darn stunning. 
okay let's see we've got a couple tornadoes and we got a couple people who love to put stuff away all right now i've got let me clean these up because i'm going to use these blocks again i cleaned my chamois this weekend you guys a it was due. Um, it was starting to get a little dry and crusty on the edges, so I had to rinse it off. And um, let's see. I'm looking for my, here we go, solid leaves. And, um, and it was so nice. I just rinsed that thing under the sink, and it totally came free of my inks. I mean, you can still see the ink, but there was ink coming out and I rinsed it till it was, the water was running clear and it was amazing. Yes, Bernetta, these butterflies are beautiful. Just wait until you see them totally stamped. Okay, I'm using soft sea foam here for a little subtle green and lining up with these green leaves. Isn't that pretty? And then we've got this um, little green vine right here. We're gonna do that next. And I'm using soft sea foam again. There we go. Let's grab Oh, thanks, Carol. Marsha loves this stamp set too. I think it's just absolutely stunning. Just stunning. Okay, now put away my soft sea foam and I'm gonna grab my pool party and my coastal cabana. And I'm doing, I got both of my solid leaves here. So I'm stamping this guy and pool party. And this next butterfly here and pool party. And just have this chamois here, it's real nice. I can just quick clean off. <clears throat> All right, let's see if this will fit on here. Yep. Okay, now. Coastal Cabana. We're going to come in with our details. Had a dimensional stuck on that block. That never happens, right? Bring in that brighter blue. And then... Um, the details for our side butterfly here. Just like that. So now these butterflies are perfectly colored in. Nothing is outside of the lines. Aren't they beautiful? Cindy, the name of this stamp set is called Floating and Fluttering, and it's in a bundle right now in the spring catalog with the fluttering dies. You can save 10% when you bundle them. <clears throat> so that is the stamp set we're using. And now as long as we're stamping, let's come in with our sentiment. And I'm gonna use the thank you from Heal Your Heart. And I think this bundle is pretty close to 50 bucks. So just add on like a new ink pad or something, maybe some glue, and you'll be able to add on a celebration item. And then you could get the Heal Your Heart if you like these as well. 
So I love this stamp set because I love the font in these sentiments. I think it's just so beautiful. Okay, and as long as we're stamping, let's keep it going, right? Let's set these aside. I'm gonna grab my butterflies here and my Coastal Cabana, ink them up. Hi, Kim, thanks for sharing. Welcome. Okay, now we're stamping the inside layer here. So I'm gonna do a little off the page and ink it back up here. And I will go up here and do the same. I think I'm going to turn this one around. There we go. Okay, now we can assemble our card. So, what I'm going to do is get my silicone mat here. I want to keep the glue off my pretty new desktop surface and the silicone mat is perfect for that. Oh, you hear those angels singing? I love it, love it, love using the seal. I think it's such a smooth glue runner. I absolutely love it. I don't know if Robin could hear him singing over there. Robin from Holcomb, Wisconsin always laughs when she sees me use my seal. She says she hears them singing. Yes, Rhonda, it is a gorgeous stamp set. I totally agree with you. All right, and now I'm going to glue down my Coastal Cabana layer. There. Just going this in the center. Usually when I do tone on tone, I like to pop it up, but this one has enough texture with it that you can glue it directly down. And you know me, I gotta have some ribbon or twine. So I'm gonna Wrap this around my card base here. We'll snip this off. <clears throat> okay. I'm just going to tie this in a bow. I have my end way too long, like usual. It's like the curse of tying a bow when you're live on video. Like when you're typing and someone looks over your shoulder, it's like you can't type. Well, when you're tying a bow on live, it never goes the way you expect. <laughs> oh, Rhonda likes this stamp set too. It's absolutely gorgeous. I really love this one. Okay, get our dimensionals here. And we will... Almost put that upside down. Put that on. And then I'm going to kind of, this is going to go over the top here. Uh, but I want to be careful where I, there we go. So I can put dimensionals on here and then the butt of this butterfly will get some glue. I always like to pay attention where I can put my dimensionals. Okay. 
Okay. Like that. Oh, I love it. We gotta have some bling. I'm gonna use these matte black dots because I think those will really make it pop. Thank goodness for this take your pick tool because I love these things. Bernetta, celebration is going until the end of the month. So if you are looking at getting an embossing machine, yeah, you are probably going to want to do the discount shopper special and get those five free packs of paper and save yourself 20%. So the 28th is of this month is the last day of celebration. And if anyone else is interested in that deal, I can certainly share some information with you on that too. Look at that card. Isn't it beautiful? Just stunning. Oh my goodness. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. Um, I am going to use some of these colors again. So maybe I will leave these out for now. But I'm done with my frames. So let me do a little cleanup here before my next card because I want to have space here. Um, yep, and free shipping when you sign up for a discount shopper. Five free packs of paper and a free month of paper pumpkin, Bernetta. So you got a couple more weeks of that. Um, definitely don't wait till the last minute uh, if it's something you're thinking about, for sure. I know a lot of people have been um, taking advantage of that special and getting themselves um, either the mini baby boss or the big boss. And um, it's a really great deal. It's the best deal in the catalog. So they it are always is the best deal in the catalog and stamping up totally sweet in the pot. So it's awesome. All right, are we ready for a next card? Hi, Alice from Indiana. Welcome, thanks for joining. You know what? Katie, you are totally right. Kate says she would add a little wink of Stella. We're gonna, we're going to because Kate suggested wink of Stella last time too, and she wasn't wrong. So here we go. We're gonna bling up these butterfly wings with a little wink of Stella. And because I also colored the leaves, we'll do those too. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get this to shimmer. Oh, see that shimmer? That's what Wink Stella does, you guys. Isn't it amazing? Great idea, Kay. Thank you. You know, Stella's sitting all over here lonely. I gotta show her some love. Okay, let me get my next card out. Move some of these things. <clears throat> I hope you're not too mad at me, but we're going to have a couple white on white cards. Uh -huh. They um, are really, really pretty with this stamp set. So I've got a basic white, thick. And I have scored this so that it's easy to fold and burnishing that edge. So we get a nice crisp fold. I also have a piece of basic white that is um, five and a quarter by four. And we're gonna grab our big butterfly stamp again. I did not clean this off. Thank you, Carol. 
Carol says she loves the card. Thank you. That's so sweet. My memento looks like it's getting a little dry. Let me see. I never fear. I have another one. Let's see if this one's any better. Looks like it so far. I hope I don't keep you guys too long. I got one more card after this yet. Okay, so I'm going to do some stamping here around the edges of our layer. Is everyone still with me? I think you can handle this card and another one yet. All right. And I'm when I'm stamping this, I'm just kind of fitting this image in how as best I can. Holly says she loves it. Thank you so much, Holly. Appreciate that. Ooh, this will be good like this. All right, let's see the best place to put this one. Ooh, these fit together really nice. Let's see, just like this. Pretty, so gorgeous. Okay, now we are coming in with our let me see. I better grab more blocks so I don't have to keep redoing these. I'll do. Mm. Okay, now I got them all bonded. Okay, so let me grab my So Saffron is what I'm looking for. Oh, Melanie's watching The Bachelor in 10 minutes. I have to record The Bachelor. And then as soon as I'm done with the live, I leave my mess here and I go and I watch it right away before I go to bed. It's my guilty pleasure every week. I love it. All right, so we're doing our big butterfly, the solid image in the wings. I am doing in So Saffron. So finding all the big wings in here and stamping that. And then <clears throat> coming in with my Calypso Coral and for the large wing detail, I'm going to go right over the top of my So Saffron. Pretty, isn't that gorgeous? I love those colors together. Like I said, I had a blast finding fun colors to pair together with this stamp set. So that one is So Saffron and Calypso Coral. Okay, and next I'm gonna come in with my Highland Heather. And I'm going to grab these little wings and I'm going to stamp off and then stamp the butterfly. 
and stamp off. So what we're doing is we're getting a lighter tone of our butterfly here. And I think, yeah, one more here. Like this. And then with the more detailed part, I'm going to do my Highland Heather at full strength. So that's another fun way for you to play around with the different color tones and patterns here is to do some stamping off before you um, stamp the detail. And then I'm going to come back in with my Blushing Bride for our sideways butterfly. Let's see right here. Uh, one more. It's like, do you remember when you were a kid? Did you ever do those color by number? I used to do those, and that's what I feel like this is, making sure you got all the pieces stamped. <laughs> okay, so then I've got the detail for the side, please, butterfly. And I'm doing that on my flirty flamingo, because like I said, that was one of my favorite combinations. So I wanted to bring it into this card. I might have done it in my next card too. <laughs> okay. And then instead of our soft sea foam, I did mint macaron for our little leaves here. Let me find me. Go. One more. Somewhere here we go on the side. Just a little baby one. <clears throat> and then we have our bigger leaves. You could do these in a different color if you want to. There's two of these in each of them, so. Oh yeah, Carol did color by number and paint by number, oh my gosh. My mom used to buy me these, um, they were like little sun catchers and they came with little tiny um, plastic little things of paint and you would paint them and then you would put them in your oven to set and then you would ha have a sun catcher that you could hang up in your window. I remember doing those, those were super fun. Okay, so we've got our layer here. And now I'm gonna grab my stitched rectangles. And let's see. I think this is the size I want. No, yeah, one bigger. I'm looking on my practice card over here, guys. <laughs> I'm cheating. Okay. We're going to cut a rectangle right out of the center here. Grab my post-it again. So I'm going to try my best to center this. How does that look? Good. Should I say one of my husband's sayings? Oh my gosh, he has so many funny sayings. 
when I'll be, he'll be like, how does that look good? I'm like, yeah, it looks good. And he goes, good enough for the girls I go out with. <laughs> I never heard that saying till my husband makes me laugh. He's got all sorts of funny sayings. All right. A little clicky and messy or loud here. Thank you, Karen. I agree. These butterflies are gorgeous. The two-step stamp really does all the work. Ah, beautiful. Okay. Now, you're gonna, probably going to want to save this for something amazing. So don't throw that away because it's too pretty to throw that away. <sighs> All right, now, I lost my card base. Here we go. So we're going to mount this here. But before I do, I'm going to do a little stamping. And I am going to grab the wishing I could heal your heart sentiment. Center this. This isn't glued down or anything yet, so I'm really just using this as a placeholder. There we go. Okay, I love that font, isn't it gorgeous? Okay, now we gotta find our dimensionals again. There we go. And I'm gonna pop up this little frame on dimensionals. Now I wanna make sure this is nice and sturdy so I'm putting plenty of them on here. This is probably a little bit more than most of you put on to your layers. But I don't want this sagging anywhere. So. Um, oh, you, st oh, yeah, I saw the color by number at the Dollar Tree, too. But I agree with you, you can still see the numbers, but like, it's still so pretty. It's okay. Oops, I did not get the center. Let's see. I hope it's not stuck down yet. Okay, good. I didn't push on it yet, so I think we're okay. I got ink all over my fingers. Let's try this again. Whew. All right, let's try again. Center this. That looks good. That looks good. There we go. Isn't that beautiful? Simple but stunning, right? My favorite kind of cards. And you know me, I gotta have my ribbon. So I am going to take and wrap this around a couple times. And we'll do a bow here. I love this twine. This is like, as you can tell, my go-to. And I've been so tired of winter. I've been making so many spring cards. I've been using all this pretty pink and white. It's just been a blast. Oh, Melanie says she remembers the... Ha! Ah, Robin! You are right. I do need to use the edge of the dimensionals first, so I only have the center left because I hate using those edges. Do you see? Do you see how I'm avoiding it? 
Oh my gosh. I do it because if I don't do it, my friend Jody yells at me. It's like peer pressure to use the edge of the dimensionals. But it does feel really darn good to throw away that clean, crisp sheet because I used them all. And now Robin is just like Jody, lecturing me too. <laughs> just teasing Robin. Okay, there we go. Our finished card. Isn't it pretty? Carol uses the edges last. Um, okay, Kim, thank you for joining us for when you could be here. Oh my gosh. You guys are so funny. Carol uses edges last. Here's the thing, Carol. If I use the edges last, I won't use them because I hate using the edges. Although I I have to laugh because this weekend, you guys, you got one more card in you. You think I'm going to clean up and get ready for the next card here. This weekend, I was putting something on and I thought, you know what? I think that the edge would be the perfect size for this. And I laugh because I used the edge of the dimensional by choice. <sighs> I know, it's like a gang of people who want me to use my edges. But you all have my best interest at heart. Kim asked, did I throw the edges away? I sometimes throw about a half a sheet's worth of edges away because I'm just so annoyed at having to use them. And someone is going to come looking through my garbage now to find the other half a sheet of dimensionals because when my other stamping friends found out I did that, it was like, I, it was like blasphemous. Absolutely horrible. They couldn't believe that I threw away the edges of my dimensionals. Okay, you guys, I'm telling you, if you have it in you, you totally want to stay for the last card. My friend Jody saw it, and it's gorgeous. So here's our second card. Are we ready for the last card? You're going to love it. Um, this is a technique that I tweaked a little bit. Um, it's absolutely stunning. And with this particular die set and stamp set, it is a lot easier than you think to do. So listen, when you see the finished card, you're gonna be like, I can't do that. But I'm not showing you the finished card till we're done. Cause it's gonna be an amazing, beautiful surprise. And you are going to be able to make this card for your friends and they're going to be absolutely in shock and awe that you could make it, I'm telling you. So I need a scrap of Whisper White, which I forgot to get out. Here we go. I've got another basic white thick, um, basic white, and then just a scrap of basic white. I wanted to see it before I go, Kim says. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. If you absolutely have to go, Kim, I understand. You'll have to catch it on the replay because I promise you're going to want to make this card. You, you'll have to ask Jody. When I put this together and I was done, I looked at her and I said, I can't believe I made this card. It's so beautiful. And you're going to wow your friends with this card and your family. Whoever it is that you send cards to, they're going to be absolutely stunned and amazed. All right. I'm inking up my butterflies good. And I'm going to stamp these here on my scrap. Have a great night, Kim. Thanks for watching. Make sure you come back and watch the replay of this one. All right.
So we're going to stamp this four times on our scrap here. Thank you, Bernetta. <laughs> Kim says she would go through my garbage for the dimensionals. You guys make me laugh. I feel like I'm being peer pressured to use the edge of my dimensionals. I really don't want to waste, so I'm with you, but it's like I'm doing it begrudgingly, you know. Am I a true stamper if I don't want to use the edge of my dimensional? Yeah, I am noticing. Oh no! Look at what happened! I have to start over! I dropped it! I knew that would happen. Let me cut a new scrap here, guys. because I'm actually, believe it or not, out of scraps, so I have to cut a new sheet. I think I could salvage two of these, so I just need two more. Kim's back already. I think she just went and set her DVR to record The Bachelor so she could come back and watch. I don't really know if that's where you were going, Kim. I'm just teasing. I need to re-ink my mementos. I've been showing this pad a lot of love these days. It's that peer pressure, Jody says. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys are like a gang of dimensional edgers. And I'm the outcast. Okay. Can I salvage this one? Yeah, I think I can. Look what happened, you guys. Oh my gosh. And I got ink everywhere. You're not stamping unless you get inky, right? Okay. Let me move this to the side. I'm going to use some more of my favorite color combinations again. So let's do my So Saffron for the big wings. When I ink up my stamp that way by holding the ink and tapping it, I'm always afraid I'm going to drop it on my paper. Kim always gets inky but doesn't know how it gets so bad. I know, sometimes I'm done and it's like if I was using red ink, it looks like I was up here like butchering a cow or something it's just like everywhere okay and i'm pairing this with calypso coral because it just looks freaking stunning doesn't this look awesome together of the color combinations i use tonight which is your favorite so far? I used 
So Saffron and Calypso Coral. And I used Blushing Bride and Flirty Flamingo. And next I'm gonna use, let's see here. I'm gonna use Pool Party. I used, oh, it is a lot of butterflies. Carol, you are gonna love it. You're gonna love it so much. I can't wait. Jody's lucky because I gave her a sneak peek. Let's see if Jody thinks it's worth the wait. This card is so pretty. I can't wait. And so far, all we've done is just do some inking. It's been pretty easy. All right, I did. Pool party, and now I'm combining that one with Misty Moonlight. So I'm coming in with my Misty Moonlight. That one's gorgeous too. <laughs> Jody says definitely worth the wait. All right, and I'm, oh, do I do my same one? I think I'm going to. I'm gonna go to my favorite here, Blushing Bride and Flirty Flamingo. wonder though about let me try one this is on the fly so I'm going to practice it Let's see how it looks yep I'm going to try this poppy parade and I'm going to stamp off first and then stamp the wings so this is a new one I haven't tried this one yet I'm liking it so far and then I'll come in with the details. Misty Moonlight, pool party with Misty Moonlight. Yeah, I like that one together too. Do you remember when I guys gave you, and I gave you all a little lesson from my entomology class on the Carner Blue Butterfly? That's what those blue ones remind me of. There we go, a little poppy parade, sure the pops. <laughs> okay, now, my leaves. I'm gonna do those in soft sea foam because I don't want the green to overpower and take away from the brights of our butterfly. So I'm doing a real subtle color here. And our butterflies aren't all bright, but I don't want the green to be my focal point. So I'm not going with a real dark color there. Okay. And now our leaves. We did our vine first and now our leaves.
Now, the technique I'm about to show you works really, really great with this stamp set because we can stamp so many of these at once and cut so many of these out at once. So, I'm gonna move these over here so I don't drop anything on them. Moving some stuff, all right. I see I got a little ink here. Let me wipe this up. I don't want this to get on my card. Okay. So let me grab my dies here. Now, in this die set, we have two of these grouped butterflies. And then you have the pieces to cut um, all of them out individually as well. But we can die cut two of these um, groups at a time. Now I have my post-it notes somewhere here. I want to use those to hold this down. I think I'm gonna have to get a big one. Okay, so line this up. <clears throat> and then we'll line this up. So we're cutting out two at a time. That is a pretty darn cool thing about this stamp, this die set. I really like that I can um, die cut two of the same images at once, which makes this card a lot easier to make than if you die cut all of these individually. Run this through our big boss. do the same thing. Oops. Just lining these up. Yes, you're probably going to know it now because I'm about to spill the beans what kind of card we're making here. I dropped my die. So you've got four of these groups of butterflies cut out. Okay, get these extra pieces off here. 
All right. Now we are going to turn these into what's called a floating frame. So I am going to set these dies all around the outside of my card. I want to leave some space in the middle for my sentiment. So I'm lining this up. I think I can turn this one a little bit. Yes. Okay, and I'm paying attention to how I want this set up. Yes, Linda, it's a floating frame card. You got it, all right? Okay, so now we're coming in with our dimensionals and one at a time. I'm gonna pay attention where I should put my dimensionals here. So I got the two wings and the poppy parade butterfly. And I think we need a little edge piece. Can you believe it? I'm using my edge. We might need a little edge piece for this guy here. I'm not sure. If we don't, we'll cut it off. It's no big deal. Okay. And then we're going to tuck that in there. Like that. Okay, now we'll do our next piece. Okay, so I'm paying attention. I want a dimensional here on one wing, the big wings, the poppy, and the leaf. You know, this is real technical the way I'm describing it but this is what goes through my brain when I'm doing this. Okay, I'm gonna cut an edge here for a leaf. But this is how I kind of figured out where to put each of these dimensionals. And then I'll go in here and line these up. There we go. Like so. Okay, and so now we've got our next one on the poppy, the blue, the leaf, and then the bottom parts of the big butterfly. And let's see. <clears throat> so this card looks really complex, but with this stamp set and these dies, it works out pretty darn good. Okay. Oh, I did that backwards, my gosh. Good thing I hadn't pressed it all the way down yet. Almost. There we go. Okay, so we got the big one, the poppy, and then we've got part of these leaves. So I'm thinking that those would be okay. Okay. 
All right. Let's tuck this in here. Okay, now we've got all of our pieces stuck on here and we've got all the stuff hanging over the edge. So now I'm just going to come in and snip it away. Just like that. I'm just lining up with the edge of my paper and using my snips and snipping these extra edges away. Now we should hopefully not have to tuck in too many more dimensionals, but if you do, we check that at the end. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is far away, so you can't quite see the effect, but let me bring this closer. Do you see how those butterflies are like floating on there? Absolutely, absolutely stunning. Okay, now I want a sentiment for the center here. <clears throat> and I thought about all these butterflies here in a big group on this page and I thought the sentiment that says we're in this together would be just perfect and I'm going to grab my misty moonlight and bring out that color I don't have any halos around the edge of my stamp set. So I'm just going to tuck this in here and I'm not worried if it's straight or not because our frame isn't perfectly straight. But here it says we're in this together. We've got a group of butterflies and everyone's in it together. And we have our card base here. So now let's grab a few dimensionals. Okay, we're going to try our best to center this. like this. And we are done. Oh my gosh. That card was easier than it looks, right? Let me see. I'm going to try to zoom this in. So bear with me here. Isn't that stunning? Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. So gorgeous. I, this is one of those cards that you're like, oh my gosh, I can't believe I made this. <laughs> That's actually what I said to Jody. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so here's our cards for tonight. Oh, gross. Why? Um, I hope you enjoyed these projects using my, um, the floating and fluttering bundle and heal your heart stamp set. These pair really, really great together. You've got, um, a limited time left to get the heal your heart bundle. 
Um, but you can make some gorgeous cards with this butterfly and pair it with those beautiful sentiments. I think that the um, font is just perfect. If you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. You can shop my online store right from my webpage, www.rosegrunewald.com. Along the top, you'll see a button that says shop. You can also find my online classes there, my PDF tutorial store, and all sorts of things going on um, in my Stampin' world. If you're gonna place an order, I would so appreciate if you use my host code for this month. It's 7FMR3YMF, and that's good through February. When you use that code, make sure your order is under, use that or code for orders under 150 bucks. So that way I use any Stampin' Rewards so that I can get you um, the prizes for all the fun that we have in the lives. But if your order is over $150, skip the code because um, you're going to want your own host rewards. And um, I don't want you to miss out on those. I send a hand stamped thank you to all of my customers every month. And I want to send one to you. If you are looking to get 20% off of your Stampin' orders and five free packs of paper, let's chat before the end of the month. Um, I also want to let you know that I am going to be kicking off a super, super fun special um, next week. I'm so excited using the Hey Chick bundle. So if you've had your eye on that and you're not sure about it, stay tuned. Um, I'm gonna make some projects with that next week. So thank you all so much for joining me. I had a blast stamping with you guys tonight. I gave in to the peer pressure of the stamp and dimensional edges and I used my edges by choice tonight. And I feel like that was a big breakthrough for me. So I so love chatting with you guys on Monday nights. I will be here next week, same place, same time, 7 p.m. Central here on my Facebook page. Thanks again for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your night and a great rest of your week. Bye, everyone. See you later.